Messenger, you have been my hero since I was a teenager growing up in Manhattan and you were my borough president. You are like everything that the Jewish community aspires to be in terms of pursuing justice. So anything you do, I wanna be a part of, but tell everybody out there about Be The Change and why you invited us to be part of this incredible Jewishly inspired movement around art. Thank you. First of all, thank you for the compliment, but it's only because I'm so old, you know, that everybody that I know now was in, was a bar mitzvah when I was like in government. It's ridiculous. But that said, Jonah, I mean, I think there are two answers to this. First of all, why we invited you to be one of our global ambassadors is because in my judgment, you have had an extraordinary career, not just because of what you've done, but moving from whatever inspired you originally to be a rabbi, to being a rabbi, but moving as a rabbi to thinking about questions of organizing and social change, um, to then emerging um, really on two different counts to lead movements that was organizing in the Jewish community to basically tell people what it is that we wanna tell people, which is one, that social change and a movement toward justice is an obligation and two is it doesn't happen unless you stop talking about it and start doing something. Um, so that's that's you are a perfect candidate for that. The the project as a whole um, is is kind of interesting because I think that um, um, more than most people, I should say it the other way around, less than many people, I did not really think about the connection between art and justice in much of my life. There was art. Some people were really into music. Some people were really into theater. I was occasionally accused of being into bad television. But um, in any event, you know, I enjoyed those things that were put on. And when they had a social justice theme, okay, I liked that. But I didn't think about the power of art to make social change. And uh, um, there were two kicks in the behind, one which happened and then I forgot about it. But when I started working with Be The Change, it came back to me. And that is when I was a pre-teenager, um, I'd have to check the dates, but the Picasso Guernica uh, um, anti-war mural was at MoMA for some period of time. I'd have to check the dates, but I can remember now, which is a long time ago, seeing that and thinking, okay, war is wrong and war is going on right now and the place to be is in the anti-war movement. So that's a piece of art that had a huge impact on me. And the second one you know really all about, and that is as I ran American Jewish World Service, it, it increasingly quickly occurred to me that I should stop giving brushes about the history and the purpose of the organization and just tell the stories about our grantees. Um, and that it was the stories, whether on the website or in my um, public presentations, it was the stories that mattered and that brought the whole thing to light and that I sort of made the connection, which I think it took me absurdly long to make, that like storytelling is a, one of the earliest art forms and it is the way to engage people.